I really do not like your bipod on this thing. It does not make it easy. There's no swivel. Today it looks like I have a gun that nobody else wanted to use. But that's not all that bad. Thanks to Lancer Tactical, I now have an M1918 BAR. But ever since it arrived, I wanted to get into the action at my local field named Mission Airsoft. So that's what we're here for today. The BAR is such an iconic weapon that most people remember from all sorts of World War II movies and games, and maybe from Battlefield 1. But what you don't feel in those games and movies is the pure weight of this monster. For a personal story, I remember seeing the BAR for the first time in probably one of the first games I ever played, and that was the original Medal of Honor that was made in 1999. But I didn't realize what BAR standed for, so when it showed up in the game, I just called it the bar. And in this video, you'll probably hear me refer to it as a bar a lot, because it's just easier to say when you're in the action. But thanks to the thick metal body, the steel bipod, and the nice wood on the BAR, the weight comes in at about 20 pounds, even as an airsoft replica. And with the lack of a pistol grip, even the beefiest players passed up on using this. So here comes little 130 pound me to the rescue. The gist is, there's a lot of cons to running an M1918 in Airsoft, especially when you only have one sub 2 and around high cap. But then again, all the struggles should add to some fun to a quick skirmish. Oh, but if you're crushing on this gun and you're thinking about getting one for yourself, I'll add links in the description to send you off to airsoftgi.com so you can find it. Now for this game, I'll be using a 9.6 nunchuck battery that's giving me about 410 feet per second, but I'll be using 0.28 gram BBs for a game of football. All we need to do is get a football on the earth side of a barrier in the middle of the playing area three times, and we'll win. But we have a lot of new players on both teams, including my friend Andrew, who's going to be backing me up. Whenever the BAR magazine runs out, I'll be switching to my Galil that he's using, while he reloads my magazines. So that should add to a bit of realism to support a fire. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully I won't rage quit this game and start a fit, but if you do like this video and you'd like to see more first person gameplay videos like this, then slap a like down below, and if we can pass 500 likes in a day, then I'll make another FPS yep. video. But now, let's get this game underway. I'm going for your stars, I'm gonna stop. Keep your eyes on the right, they're gonna go right. They will go right. Tires, tires. I, I have my ankles stuck, I can't move. John, please back up. We got Winston Love. Keep your eyes down there, uh, for, uh, Andrew. Alright, I'm we'll trying to look for him. I need an adjustment. He's done. To the left, to the left. Behind the tree. Yeah. Then you can nail him. Andrew. Ammo. Hey, good luck. Oh, come on, damn it. Got one? Give me the glue. Give me the glue. Take the bar. Take the bar. Reload. Reload the whole bar. Reload the magazine. Oh, he's done. Give me an air mag. Give me an air mag. Glue mag. He's done. He's done. Hit. Chill. Scott, I'm hit. Okay, go respawn. Alright, you want the BA also? Just leave it there, yeah. Is the bar loaded? Loading the clip. Mag. Magazine, yeah, boy. Yeah. Collecting myself after that time. Right. Okay, we got a point. Okay, Andrew. 
Come on, Andrew. Andrew. Wrong way. <laughs> Make sure you wind up that magazine. That's we need. Up. We're gonna need some covering fire. I'm gonna try pushing up for any objective. So I'm providing cover this time. Yes, you're gonna hold down their their spawn point. Okay. But remember, you can't hold down the trigger more than three seconds. Got it? Got it. Okay, guys. I'm gonna try moving up for that Shit. objective. Or not. Hey, Scott, let me run. Okay, give me the bar. Score! I'm running out of ammo. I'm going to need some support, guys. Hey, yo, what's up? Andrew, that was awesome. Uh, come on. Andrew, give me, inner, give me the bottle. Give me the bottle. Throw me the bottle. Throw me the bottle. What? Do you need a reload? Yes, I do. Damn it, where's the magazine? Here. Here. Good call, man. Good call. Hey, you got one coming to your right. Okay, reloading. You realize how amazing it is to run just an eight pound gun when running the BAR. <laughs> hey, go support him on the right. We got this spot easy. Hey, you want me to get the tires though? If you can, I know there's some guys over there. Come on, come on! Bam! Oh. Woo! There you go. Woo! -hoo! Get out of my face. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. If I do say so myself, I think we did pretty good, even though we got completely spanked in round two. Maybe the side of the field that we went on was just really overpowered. Regardless, playing with a really clumsy primary like an M1918 is pretty satisfying. The bipod really caused a lot of problems though, since it kept getting hooked on the tires I was taking cover behind. But with a set of tools, I could probably just take this thing off, which should shed some weight. And as for my friend Andrew, I'd say he's learning, and I'm a bit surprised that he scored a point, so good on him. I guess I own some gear and maybe a gun, but as for the Lancer Tactical BAR, a review is for sure on the way. But if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see another first person gameplay from me, then go ahead and give this video a like. And if we can break 500 likes in a day, then I'll get to planning something new. But until our next video drops from the city of San Antonio, this has been Scott Holmbeck at Mission Airsoft, and I'll be sure to see you all next time. Just need a reload or fill it up? Reload. Reload the whole spark. Reload the magazine. I'm watching road. I'm watching road. Oh, he's done. Give me an airmac. Give me an airmac. Glue mac. Yeah. Take care of, take care of support. <laughs>